Hello everyone. We're going to use our Python turtle and for loops to draw basic polygons. We'll start by defining a turtle. I'm going to name her Tina, but you can call the turtle anything. You could call it Godzilla. It wouldn't matter, but we'll call it Tina for now. And she is a member of a class of turtles called NC Lab Turtle. And you do need to write that exactly as it's written here. You'll see that it'll turn color and that means that you've written it correctly, that it's a recognized class. And now we'll start working with Tina. What I've done here is I've set up my for loop and I am going to uh, set a range of three. So it's going to loop three times. And the first thing I'm going to do is have Tina go 50 steps. And by 50 steps, if we enlarge this a little bit here, each one of these intervals is 10 steps. So she's going to end up moving five squares. And then I'm going to turn the turtle left 120 degrees. And that's it. The last thing I want to do is write a command that displays what I have just drawn. And for that we use the show command. So let's see what this looks like. And there is a triangle. It drew a line 50 units long. Then it turned 120 degrees, drew another line 50 units long, turned another 120 degrees, and drew one more line 50 units long, and once again turned 120 degrees. Well, let's play with this. We know that um, in a regular polygon, the number of sides and the degrees that are turned are related to the total number of degrees in a circle, which is 360. So we can now make our program a little more powerful. We'll define the number of sides ahead of the for loop, and this is called a parametric variable, and call it 3. And instead of putting 3 here, we'll put n. And instead of 120, we can now say 360 divided by n. And if we run that, sure enough, it does exactly the same thing. But now, if we want to try a different regular polygon, all we have to do is change this value here. So if I want to draw a pentagon, I can change that to 5. And it automatically adjusts the angle and, of course, the number of sides. As you work through the exercises in the handout, you'll see how this basic program evolves uh, and how you can make small changes to great effect. We will move on to nested loops. This is where you start creating more complex designs, repeated patterns within patterns. You can change the color, play with the color, extrude it into three dimensions. This makes a printable, 3D printable object. And we'll go on to playing with variables and, of course, curved lines because life isn't always straight. So enjoy this part of the program. After the turtle, we will move on to working with solid geometry, which is a little bit different. And I hope you enjoy your time here.